Hey guys, welcome to another Digit News Roundup where of course all the action is coming from Apple's announcement last night. So let's kick things off with the Apple Watch. Nothing exciting out here, they spoke about the new operating system and a few new color variants and bands. With that aside, an announcement that really excited us was the Apple TV. Yes, it's going to be available in two variants with built-in storage of 32GB and 64GB, priced at $149 and $199 respectively. The catch is that it now has a remote that you can talk to it. Siri and it has a touch control as well as works as a gaming controller, something that we've seen a lot of Android TV devices do. Moving on, all the rumors were true. We have an iPad Pro, which uh, looks a lot like the Surface Pro 3, if I can say so. It has a stylus and a keyboard. Well done, Apple. Well done by copying Microsoft this time. Moving on to the iPhone, again, everything was expected. We have the 6S and the 6S Plus, with the biggest difference, of course, being the new A9 chipset inside. The uh, 3D touch display, what everyone rumored to be the force touch display and the 12 megapixel camera at the back. Not only has the megapixel increased, but you can now shoot 4K videos with the two new iPhones. Well, that's it from the Apple News Roundup. In other news, Misfit is coming to India and they're going to tie up with Snapdeal. In the past couple of days, we've seen uh, Fitbit and Jawbone enter the Indian market with their fitness products and Misfit doesn't want to be left out and has entered the Indian market. Well, that's it for today's news roundup. We'll catch you tomorrow and we hope you enjoy some other videos on Digit.in.